Welcome to the United States Navy Memorial and our online wreath ceremony in honor of Memorial Day 2020. Our mission here at the Navy Memorial is to honor, to recognize, and to celebrate the men and women of the sea services, past, present, and future, and to inform the public about their service. And today, we will do just that. Because of COVID-19 pandemic, we're not open to the public. We can't have the big ceremony we normally have on Memorial Day with Fleet Reserve Association and Vietnam veterans fill in the plaza on this very, very important day. But you know, this day and the meaning of this day is just too important for us to let it go by without taking a moment and pausing and thinking about what the day is all about. That's why we've all gotten together here, social distancing uh, and all the appropriate protocol that, that is necessary in these difficult times to honor these people who, who deserve our remembrance. We're honored to partner with Naval District Washington, led by Rear Admiral Carl Lotti, and the Naval District Washington team, and the Ceremonial Guard, and the Navy Band, and the team here at the Navy Memorial to bring you this wreath laying ceremony. We're honored that you joined us and that you took your time to be with us because now more than ever, we are all in this together. So today we will have remarks by Admiral Lottie, followed by a prayer by Chaplain Ray, followed by the wreath laying by Admiral Lottie here at the Navy Memorial. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce Rear Admiral Carl Lottie, the Commandant, Naval District, Washington. Good afternoon. I'm Rear Admiral Carl Lottie, the Commandant of Naval District, Washington. I'm always honored to speak on behalf of the Navy, but it's especially humbling to stand here in uniform today and speak about the many American heroes we honor on this special day. Nearly 1.3 million men and women have died in wartime throughout the span of our nation's history. To put that in perspective, that's more than the populations of San Francisco, Boston, Seattle, or Washington, D.C. One of the things that makes our country great is our ability to remember and honor those men and women who have died while serving in the military. We do a wonderful job of creating and building physical memorials. The Vietnam Wall, the World War II Memorial, the Korean War Memorial, the 9-11 Memorial at the Pentagon, and our own Navy Memorial are solid symbols of the nation's desire to physically commemorate our fallen heroes. At these revered places, we can connect with and even trace with our fingertips the names of those in uniform who have given their lives in defense of our country. Today, I ask you to call to mind the lost, the wounded, and all those who have served on behalf of our great nation. This year marks the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. During that war alone, over 405,000 service members gave their lives in defense of freedom. That number should truly humble us as it represents people, individuals who are brothers, husbands, mothers, sisters, friends. They were people woven into the fabric of communities across the nation. They were loved, they were mourned, and they are still missed. Memorial Day was originally known as Decoration Day. It originated in the years following the Civil War as a time to honor the nation's Civil War casualties. Memorial Day became an official federal holiday in 1971 and has evolved into what it is today, an opportunity to remember the valor and service of nearly 1.3 million veterans, both men and women, who have perished through our nation's military history. The sacrifices made by America's service members can never truly be measured, but they can be appreciated and remembered. Their histories can be retold and their memories can be kept alive. As we go about our daily lives, it can become easy for those of us who have never suffered the loss of a loved one to see past the voids that are left in the families and communities. That's all part of being human. As Franklin D. Roosevelt once said, those who have long enjoyed such privileges as we enjoy forget in time that men have died to win them. But Memorial Day is a chance to reconnect and think about the ideals and freedom our nation represents. 
It is a significant day on which we reflect on the reality that every Gold Star family member is fully aware of. That our life has been shaped and made possible by those who served and by those who were lost. Today, let us take a moment to ensure these sacrifices are never forgotten. The sacrifices willingly assumed by all service members are rooted in a steadfast commitment and desire to serve in something greater than themselves. Today we honor that desire and their commitment, and we honor the families that supported them, who no doubt are celebrating their legacy while grieving their absence. As we look to the past, we must also look to the future. In the United States Navy, we must constantly scan the horizon to identify and respond to emerging threats. Let's not forget about the tens of thousands of America's finest men and women who right now are deployed around the world, protecting and defending America's freedom on the world's oceans and on foreign soil. These men and women come from every background and every walk of life. They are the core and heartbeat of America's military and our country. Without their commitment and service, our military and our nation would not be what it is today. Let me leave you with this. As you look at the American flag, which is so prominently displayed, be proud of what it represents, our freedom, and never forget the irreplaceable lives that have been sacrificed while defending and preserving that freedom. As you look at the red, white, and blue, be reminded that each color represents the valor vigilance, and perseverance found in the heart of every United States service member. And just as we never forget a fallen shipmate, never forget those who have died so freedom can live on. May God continue to bless the United States Navy, all branches of our armed forces, and the United States of America. Thank you. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in whose hands are the living and the dead, we give thanks for all your servants who have laid down their lives in the service of our country. We acknowledge our profound debt to these men and women as we recognize that our freedom and way of life has been defended and preserved at great human cost. Grant to our fallen comrades your mercy and the light of your presence. And for those who remain behind, for Gold Star families and combat veterans, who daily bear the grief and injuries of war, both visible and hidden, that they may be comforted by the light of your presence and the knowledge that their sacrifices have not been in vain. We know that freedom isn't free, that our freedom isn't free, and we therefore dedicate ourselves to honoring the memory of our fallen heroes. Help us, Heavenly Father, to live in a manner worthy of their examples and grant us your grace that we may glorify your name in all that we do, one God, now and forever. Amen.
Thank you for joining us. And thank you to everybody who put the time and effort together to bring you this online memorial service in Wreath Lane because it's so important. And most importantly, I think, thank you for taking the time today to pause and reflect on those men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice so that we may live in freedom and to protect our way of life here in this great country, the United States of America.